Congratulations, Lisa. Congratulations, Lisa. Congratulations, Lisa. Um, I'll miss your high knee jokes all the time, and I don't really know what to say. <laughs> thanks for hiring me. Yeah, well, Jen hired me, but thanks for being there. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. Uh, just wanted to congratulate you on your retirement. Um, I'm really going to miss working with you. Uh, you've been one of my favorite bosses and a, a great manager. Um, my favorite part about working with you, other than your uh, winning personality, which by the way has probably corrupted me a little bit, but um, was hearing about your travels and all the places you've gone and all the things you've seen. Uh, they're always really fascinating to hear about. But I just want to let you know that uh, I'm really going to miss you and so is everyone else. So don't be a stranger and uh, hopefully I'll see you in person. <laughs> Congratulations again. Hi Lise, I just wanted to wish you congratulations and I hope you enjoy your special day. Lisa, first of all congratulations on 30 years working at Regal. I'm sure it was a blast. Um, I'm gonna miss the hell out of you, obviously. Um, I remember that you and uh, Adam Cole were the first people to find out about my brain tumor. So you're uh, on the front lines of that and I was really glad that you were one of those people. Um, I loved the fact that I wasn't Alex until about a year working with you. I was always boy, or whatever other name you wanted to call me. But uh, I found it endearing every time. So uh, anyway, I only have 30 seconds for this. So I hope you have a wonderful retirement. And I love you. And thank you for everything you've done. Hi, Lisa. I'm Alexis Smith. Hi, Lisa. I'm Devin Smith. I started working at Regal in 2013. I started in 2012. And I'm really going to miss you throwing stuff at me as I walk by and listening to the Happy Birthday Lisa song every year on your birthday. I'm really going to miss you calling me Mike Wazowski because I only have one good eye. And that time that you punched me was a lot of fun. <laughs> so we'll miss you, Lisa. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hi Lisa, we love you. We miss you. Come visit us. Happy retirement. Hey Lisa, this is Liz and this is my video for your retirement party. Um, I quickly just wanted to share that my favorite Lisa moment for me personally was the day that I got the phone call that you were hiring me. Um, I miss you. And I can't wait to see you again. And I know that you are probably kicking retirement's ass. And I am so excited for you for this next chapter of your life. Um, I love you. I miss you. And I'll see you soon. Congratulations, Lisa Graves, on a well-deserved retirement. Um, it's been a pleasure working with you for the past 10 years and getting to know you as a person. Um, it's definitely going to be a lot different at the theater without you there. Uh, you have the type of personality that people gravitate towards, um, whether it be staff or customers. Everyone just likes to be around you, so it's definitely going to be a huge loss. Um, probably my favorite memory of you is when somebody was smoking in the ladies' room and you ran in and screamed at them to flush it or it was going to set off every smoke detector in the building. And that person apparently had already left because the only person who was in there was a frightened little girl who came running out of the stall. Um, I wish you the best. Um, you better stop by and see us often. Um, and good luck to you. Love you. Hi, Lisa. Congratulations on your retirement. It's hard to imagine Regal without the Lisa Grays. You always know how to put a smile on people's faces with your silly stories and funny expressions. And I can't imagine the past seven years without you. And thank you for all the wonderful memories you've given me. I wish you nothing but the best. Yippee skippy. Hey Lisa. hey, Lisa. Congrats on your retirement. Yay, it's finally over. Um, <laughs> well, I guess I'm going to miss your funny stories and your sarcastic comments and your beautiful personality and your dog stories because they were wonderful. Yeah, you always knew how to make work really enjoyable. And it was always a blast to work with you and you're always hilarious. So thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Good luck. Bye. Hi Graves. So this is real awkward, but I'm going to do it anyways. Um, I'm at work and I'm always at work, so that's why I'm doing it at work. But I just wanted to thank you for everything. You are the reason that I am where I am. You were there for me all the time. And without you, I wouldn't have been able to get to this point in life. 
I'm pretty sure that I should say something funny because you're real funny and I'm being real awkward. But um, in all seriousness, you were just a huge part of helping me grow up and I love you. And I'm sad that there's not future children who get to have Graves be their work mom, but I'm happy that you get to go do what you want now. Hopefully you'll travel, come visit me. But yeah, I love you. Lisa Graves. I remember when I was first hired with Katrina and you combined our names to say Christina and you called us both Christina for three weeks, but I like to think I won you over because you learned my name first. I know you just couldn't bear to be at Regal without me since I'm graduating and moving on and that's probably the reason why you're retiring, so it's kind of poetic us ending our careers there together. Um, you definitely changed my life and it may be unorthodox, but I consider you a friend forever. Good luck. Love you. Hey, Lizzie Poo Poo. Um, this is me congratulating you on your retirement. I'm very happy and very excited for you. But most importantly, you know, this is me thanking you for everything you've done for me over the years. I mean, you've watched me go from soccer jerseys to business suits, from the maroon re regal uniform to the black, you know, from high school graduation caps to college, from heartbreak to heartbreak, from the nickname Petunia to the nickname Tits. I don't even know if you even really even know my real name after all these years, but let's be honest, you don't really know anyone's real names for all these years, but, you know, I do. I want to thank you for everything you've done for me. You know, you not only were my manager, but you were my friend. You know, you pushed me to lengths I didn't think I could go. You know, you definitely lit a fire underneath my ass for many, many years, you know. There's things in my life, like college, I don't think I would have done without you, without the support you gave me, without the tough love, you know, you definitely drilled into me, you know, and even the advice, I mean, I always learned from you never to be a dumb girl, and let's be honest, I mean, I'm still a dumb girl, but I think about you every time I make dumb decisions, you know, you're always saying, Brandy, don't be a dumb girl, but I do, I want to thank you, um, you know, not only were you my manager, but you definitely were the mom that I always needed in my life. You know, you always gave the great advice and, you know, you were always there to listen. And, you know, I want to thank you for everything that you've done for not only me, but everyone in the staff. And just because this is a goodbye from Regal Career, this isn't a goodbye from my life. You know, you'll always be there and I'll always be there for you. And I just hope over the years I've made you proud. And, you know, I love you, Lisa, and I'm excited to see you move on to bigger and better things than fighting with Mike every day, but it does make it a little bit harder to come in here every day. You know, I love you, Lise, and, you know, thank you for everything, honestly. <laughs> I love you. Lisa, I'm truly going to miss you at Regal, but I know that everything that you choose to do from now on into the future is going to be an amazing success. I loved getting to work with you, and I cherished the times that I would come home from Regal, and my stomach would hurt because I was laughing so much because you're awesome, and you're funny, and you're witty, and you are just so loving and lovable, and there's no one quite like Lisa Graves. I wish you all the best, and I can't wait to see you again someday. Bye, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. It's Aaron. Uh, happy retirement. That's really cool and awesome. Um, I'm sure Mike's going to miss you a lot. He always does whenever you're not there. Um, but I just want to say thank you for really shaping me into the adult that I am now. Well, I hope that I am now. Um, you really did play a pivotal role in me growing up. You know, I, I started working at, at the theater at 16, and now I'm 20, almost 23, and I'm I'm a teacher now. And I, I honestly have you to thank so much. I, I used to come to you with just questions about life and teaching and jobs and and how to handle certain situations that I really couldn't go to anyone else for. Um, you were more than just a boss. You were you were a role model and you were a friend and you were um, just so much more than, than the title of, of associate manager um, really gave you. So I want to thank you for that because I know you had just the same impact on a lot of other people besides me. Uh, so have a good retirement. I'll see you soon. So after crying in Gladys's office for about three shifts, I finally come to terms with you retiring, Lise. Congratulations. I'm going to miss you so much, but if anyone deserves retirement, it's you. Um, my favorite memory is when um, we were in box office together about a year ago. 
Um, it was wicked busy, and I royally screwed up something on the computer, as usual. So you get off your chair, and you walk over to me, and before I know it, you smack me right into the head. And, um, say, you stupid girl! And, um, the people outside are like, oh my god, like, what, what is she doing? And, um, I'm looking at you, and I don't really care, because you do it all the time. And, um... Then you realize that people are looking at you, so you're like, you pull me in a bear hug, and you're like, oh my god, no, it's fine, like, she knows that I love her, it's fine, we're fine, and, um, they're looking at you like, oh my god, <laughs> what is, what is her deal, but, um, that's my favorite memory, and, uh, I love you so much, Lisa Graves, um, you're always gonna have a place in my heart that's not going anywhere, and I love you so much. Who would have thought that Halloween store all those years ago with Sandy and Gary would be the start of a lifelong friendship? My job at the movies my 10 years spring and fall was the best job ever. Look, I still have my vest from the Dalmatian movie coming out that Eric made and my name tag. <laughs> Memories. Um, Natasha and Boris coming in. Um, Route 9 rundowns with the blue hairs. Um, Charlie and Miss Beckles coming in with their coffee in their cup. Um, Sunday afternoons when it was just the three theater, three movie screens and me, you, and Di working. And you telling me that we can't work together anymore because we're going to get you fired. <laughs> and uh, let's not forget the code name. Um, Ursula Titslinger. <laughs> um, you started the phrase Paradise Parking at the movie. And uh, any horror. That's your other saying, Lisa. <laughs> um, the, the boat ride from hell, afternoons on the deck at Zachary's. Lisa, Lisa, thank you so much for the memories, the movies, and most of all, the friendship. I love you, my friend. Hi, Lisa. Congratulations on your retirement. We had a lot of trouble trying to figure out what we wanted to say in this video. We had something all written out, and we scrapped yeah. it because we decided it was stupid. Um, but we're just having a really hard time trying to put into words exactly what you mean to us. And part of that is because I don't want to say anything incriminating on camera. And part of it is just because we love you. And there's no way to really express that. Yeah. I love you so much, Lisa. From the beginning, I might not have known it. When I first started working at Regal, you were kind of mean. I won't say super mean. Yeah, but she made me cry my first night. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you always had people come in to see you. And they're always happy to see you. Sometimes they even came in just to see you, not even to watch a movie. And now I understand that. I mean, since I've left, I've probably gone in two, three times specifically looking for Lisa and had to talk to Mike for an hour <laughs> to find out you were home. And then go there and then wait for you to come up from your downstairs pottery wheel. But it was worth it. We love you so much. We love you, Lisa. And happy retirement. Congrats. Hi, Lisa. So when I wrote down some things that I wanted to talk about on your video, it turned out that there was a lot of things that I have on you. So I'm going to just try to keep it brief and clean. But I just wanted to bring up some life lessons that I've learned from Lisa Graves. The first and very most important one would be to never use the first stall in a public rest area because people that are in a hurry pee on the seat and they always go to the first stall. So I have never used the first stall since I've known Lisa Graves because that just is really disgusting and it just goes over and over in my head. Um, some other things that we've been through, we took a trip to New York City to pick up a friend at the airport and I'm pretty sure, Lisa, you were driving, I was navigating, we missed the stop, it was Look Kids Big Ben for like a long time until we finally found where we were going. Then we went to Boston to a Red Sox game and we, you made me double park in rush hour traffic so you could go in to get a bottle of Southern Comfort and then I'm pretty sure you made out with the CEO of Hoyt Cinema after that but I have no video proof so um, oh the most important thing that you taught me is when throwing a buffer away into the garbage you should pick it up by the handle and not by the big part because you could get an injury to your nipple and then your boss could possibly go to a big convention and talk about said nipple injury with hundreds of people and that would be so embarrassing. But, I mean, Lisa would never do something like that to me, but anyway. So, Lisa, I have so many things to say to you, about you, I love you. You are one of the best people that I know. You have formed me to 
part of the person I am today. And I hope you enjoy your retirement because you so deserve it. Love you. Okay. <laughs> Are we on? <laughs> oh, dear. I didn't want her to see me wiping away my tears like that. Well, Graves, I uh, hope you're having fun at your little party today. You can see I'm here working because uh, no one else is. And um, I'm glad you're having a good time eating, socializing, drinking. Hmm, come to think of it, that's what you did here too. So I guess it's really not that much different. Kind of like work, you know, working all over again. Uh, the good news is that we've started the renovation. The bad news is, is that your throne is now gone. So I don't know where you would actually sit to um, eat and drink and socialize. But anyways, in all uh, seriousness, I wish you the best of luck. We've had some uh, good times and yeah, not so good times. A ton of success since you've been here and a lot has to do with you. So uh, I hope things are going well. I hope you're feeling better and uh, enjoy your day today. Lisa's butt is so big that she... What's that? This isn't for the Lisa Graves roast? Oh, her retirement video. No, it's fine. I have that in here somewhere. Let me just find it in the roast joke somewhere. Got it. Did you know that if you Google manager, what you'll get is a person responsible for controlling or administering all or part of a company or similar organization. But what Google can't capture is what it's like to work under Lisa Graves. Employees are subject to being referred to as boy or girl for years on end because she still can't remember your name. Being sent to her car so you can rummage through dog food and coupons so she can get the salt shakers that she asked you to get for the theater. Uh, listening to her call a flamboyant customer an old queen as soon as they walk into the building. And of course, watching her pour scalding hot water on herself by accident and then having her flash you and asking her if her chest looks burned on one of your first days there. Still a personal favorite of mine. But while employees will never remember the customer that bitched them for 20 minutes about stale popcorn, what they will remember is the kind of person that Lisa was. A manager who went in there with the perfect amount of humility, humor, care, and love that really made every single day working there so memorable. And I know every single Regal and Hoyt's employee can tell you that. Uh, for me personally, it's been an absolute pleasure working with her for the last eight and a half years. She has definitely made me a little bit more cynical of a person, but overall a much better person and manager. And I'm going to say that, Lisa, I'm going to miss walking around here singing Cher and Whitney Houston with you all day. But I can honestly say that retirement has never looked better on you. And I wish you absolutely nothing but the best. One more thing. Lisa Graves taught me? Lisa Graves taught me that 50 cents more gets you the large. Lisa Graves taught me the true meaning of the term gravy train. Lisa Graves taught me that bulk candy is essentially free for everyone. Lisa Graves taught me that finding a reliable employee who would not steal from you was essentially like finding a unicorn or the Loch Ness Monster or Sasquatch. Lisa Graves, most importantly, taught me not to quit. And that is why, when I was told that Lisa Graves was retiring, I thought, that can't be true. Because 17 and a half years ago, Lisa Graves sent me outside to clean the parking lot. And for 17 and a half years, I've done what Lisa Graves has asked me to do. And Lisa, just know that while you're retired and enjoying your pug dogs or whatever it is you're going to be doing with your time, that I will be here, as will others who are employed previously under your watch, who are still slaving away. Enjoy your retirement, Lisa Graves. Enjoy your retirement.
Theater is closed. Get out of here. I'm going to call the cops. Get out. It's closed. Get the fuck. Get out of here. Screw you guys. I'm going home.